and welcome back. We're still in circles. Last time we talked about like different lines going through a circle and intersecting inside a circle or outside a circle or on a circle and the measurements that that created for the angles and the arcs. Well, it's similar today. We still got lines like intersecting inside or on or outside a circle, but this time we're going to talk about the measures of the lines themselves. So it's pretty cool. Here we go. If two chords intersect in a circle, then the products of the lengths of the chord segments are equal, meaning A times B equals C times D. I'll show you how that works. So on this circle, we know that 6 times X equals 3 times 8. So 6X equals 24, so X equals 4. Same thing with this one. 11 times 11 equals 5 times X. 121 equals 5x, and x equals 24.2. Okay, now if secants and tangents intersect outside a circle, then two products are equal. Well, which two products? Hold that thought for just a second and let me show you something. AC, this is called a secant segment, okay? AD is called an external segment secant segment. So there's the whole thing that's the secant segment, and then just the outside of a secant segment is called the external secant segment. Okay, so with that in mind, here's our magic formula. AC times AB equals AE times AD. Okay, let's look at this. AC is the whole segment. AB is just the external part of that segment. And then AE is the whole segment. AD is the external part of that segment. It might make more sense if we do an example. Okay, so we need to find X. So we're gonna take the whole segment, five plus X, times the external part, X. And then on the other side, 15 plus six, that's the whole segment, times just the external segment of six. And now we can solve for x. x squared plus 5x equals 126. Now we're going to subtract 126 from both sides to get a quadratic. Now remember back from Algebra 1 how to factor these? So this factors into x plus 14 times x minus 9. Now we need to take each of those and solve for x. So x plus 14 equals 0, x equals negative 14. Well, we can't have a negative x value, so that one's not gonna work. What about the other one? x minus nine equals zero, so x equals nine. Okay, that works. So in this situation, x equals nine. Okay, let's look at another scenario. And that's when one of those lines is a tangent. So we still have this secant segment, but AB, well, it doesn't go through the segment. So that one's just called a tangent segment. Okay, here's our magic formula for this one. AD times AC equals AB squared. So AD, that's the whole segment, times the external segment. That's just like the one we did before. But the other one, we just take the tangent segment and multiply it by itself. So we'll try this out. All right, so we've got 18 squared, that's the tangent segment, equals 15, that's the external segment, times 15 plus x, the whole segment. So 24 equals 225 plus 15x, solve for x, and we get 6.6. .6. So now when we've got secants and tangents intercepting circles, not only can we find the angle measures and the arc measures, we can also find the measures of the chords, tangents, and segments themselves. Thanks for being here.